Hey guys, it's Angus, and I'm going to give you an unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. So this is a really recent phone as it was released in September 2014, and I finally managed to get my hands on it, and I'm really excited because it's got some amazing specs. In May 2013, I did the unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy S4, so you can find a link to that in the description as well. So on the back, we've got some amazing specs. As you can see, it's got a 16 megapixel camera, with Android 4.4.4 KitKat. It's got a 5.7 inch display with 515 PPI and also it's a super AMOLED touchscreen. So pretty much every year the packaging is the same. It's the same simple box that they provide for almost all of the Galaxy devices and as you can see it's also got a huge feature which is the S Pen or the stylus pen and that's going to be a quite a big feature for the Note 4 because it's also mainly targeted for people who want to use it for the S Pen. However, of course, there's a lot of other features, so you don't have to use the S Pen. So, of course, Samsung have also got tons of different features as well, like they've got quick charging built into the battery, and also they've got the amazing display, which is going to be really good for loads of different viewing angles, and of course, the really high spec camera as well. So of course we've got the basics in the packaging, we've got the micro USB charging, we've got the power adapter, we've got the huge 3220 milliamp battery, we've got a piece of metal which will be for getting the SIM card and also there is some earbuds which I think is really nice because a lot of phone manufacturers don't include this and of course they've got the headphones as well. So of course on top of the instructions as well we haven't got anything else in the box. So setup is fairly easy once you've taken off all the plastic and the extra packaging on the phone slipping in the battery can be fairly easy. The only problem I found is that when you want to insert the SIM card you have to insert the SIM card first and then the battery because the battery overlaps it to prevent it from you slotting in and I thought that was just a little problem but of course that's not a problem because you only put the SIM card in once. There's this stylus pen as well and once we slot it back and we'll put the battery in and then boot the phone up. So once you take the back off make sure you snap it back on completely when you are putting the plastic back on because it has about six different slots so it can be slotted in securely. So once we boot up the phone it will do quite a lot of stuff so it may take longer than it usually does of course because it's starting Android for the first time and also it's going to load all the settings and all of the data from the phone which will need to be set up. If you find that the video darkens a little bit I apologise for that but that's because of the settings and the brightness adjustment on my camera. So just for the meanwhile we're not going to set up with the SIM card and we're not going to worry about any of the accounts or any of these settings we're just going to try and get straight into the phone. So of course because you've got the Samsung software on top of it there are going to be quite a lot of accounts that it's going to ask you to sign into but of course you don't have to do any of these you can completely ignore them or you can just do it later and they'll ask you things from Google as well and of course you've got more Samsung software which is overlapped on the Android operating system but of course we don't have to worry about any of this and it's not necessary at all so once we boot up we've got this gorgeous display it's really bright it's got some amazing colors and of course we've got the home screen as well we've got tons of different features built onto the Android skin of course we've got shortcuts and we've got loads and loads of different options so that is the home screen for the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. So once we boot up the camera mode it's amazingly quick and amazingly clear but I'll do that in my full review and I'll get onto a lot more detail. So quite frankly it's got some great overall impressions mainly because of the design I think it's really nice but I'll get onto that later. So that is the unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Thanks for watching. What's going on guys, it's Angus and today I'm going to give you a recap of the Apple iPad and the iMac event. So of course a couple of weeks back they launched the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus and that was a huge event and because of that I also did a video of it and you can check